Hello. I wanted to uh, um, show you um, some problem that we mostly encountered in um, XNR Lara import. Well, if you have seen my tutorials, and many of you have, and that's good. So uh, you may have encountered that problem once you import an avatar into iClone, and that problem is the broken meshes in the face or the body or anywhere else. Let me show you that because it's better to show than um, actually explain. So, first thing is going to do is uh, go into this folder here, and this here has to be deleted. Why? Because I already uh, made this tutorial, and then I realized my microphone was sounding terrible, and. Well, I think the problem was uh, one of my USBs back in the computer um, is not good and uh, it gives distortions on my microphone that sh actually should not do. So I put it in another USB and I think it's working properly now. Anyway, uh, we open up an avatar. I because I in this particular avatar here, Sienna, I encountered that problem. You do not encounter that in every avatar. It happens from time to time. Anyway, you see, this is Sienna, and she's actually looking good. Everything is okay here, and no problem found. So let's close this up and just open her up directly with our importer converter tool into 3ds max i use the uh, the uh, uh, version uh, 1.33e uh, from 2015 it is a um, it's a good version and i think it's the latest out i didn't find a newer one anyway it's working for me i always use a uh, non-single mesh because sometimes and maybe one of you already tried and I know some have tried if you select single mesh you may can fix some uh, mesh split problems m that may occur or happen but then later on if you import that avatar like this with one single mesh only into iClone you may encounter some problems even if you open it now here that some texture is maybe not assigned correctly and then you cannot fix that problem even in 3D exchange because you cannot make it unique. So, or you change that uh, in 3ds Max and fix that there, but it's kind of complicated. But you can do that probably, I think. I didn't do it myself anyway because I never bothered to do so. Anyway, we open the avatar like this and search for Sienna. <coughs> Was it in here? So she is a generic item mesh, and I say she because she's a female. But anyway, that avatar is in this format, and I open it. You also can find probably some XPS formats here. See, that also exists, and that's mainly the problem. The XPS, why? the xps um if it comes with an xps and a generic intermatch mostly you will encounter the problem if you only load the xps file you will encounter mesh problems probably because somehow it doesn't load it correctly anyway so we have the avatar here and let's just zoom on in here there we go and you already can see here this are the broken meshes I tell you about and you can even select the broken meshes and see them if you are skilled enough you may can fix that in 3d exchange but who is that skilled enough probably doesn't use iClone anymore so I found a solution to this problem you may encounter or have already encountered 
and that solution is actually pretty easy. So, first of all, let's import her into iClone and see how she looks. Uh, just a normal FBX file. Done. Just wait a little bit, that will take a bit. My neighbor's having a party back there. It's summertime. It's actually late in the night, 2 o'clock. I hope they turn down the music at 3 or something when I go sleep. Because they're kind of loud, you know? They make a lot of noise there. I don't know why people make this kind of parties, getting drunk and having fun. After that they have a major hangover and they need a justification for the vacation, if you get what I mean. Because actually it's no fun for your body drinking yourself almost to death and getting all night up. So there we have her and the broken meshes. Sometimes you cannot see that if you use the normal and make it a little bit smooth. It gets a bit better, but just a tiny bit. You still see it very much that is broken and it looks terrible. And I already have the pixel shader on. And even if you go here to material settings and select her face here, now you can make disappear your whole face. But, see, the making unique is once you um, you make her unique and select all, here, push that button, now it separates the meshes. It separates the meshes who apply to only one texture. In this case, it's three kinds of meshes and if you now use the opacity, you can see, broken. Broken and broken. That should not happen. It's terrible and it should not happen. So anyway, I showed you the problem. Now I'm going to show you the solution. Well, my solution. I hope it will work for you as well. I did try that in different avatars and imports and it did work for me all the time. Not every avatar is going to be perfect. But at least you can fix broken meshes, and that's something. So, let's go back into uh, XNR Labra program. I got the 11.3 point program, and it's in November 2015. And this is a special uh, program, it's uh, the XNR Labra um, White Hunt Edition. It comes with a script here and that script uh, gives me the possibility to uh, to actually um, import uh, which are meshes in, in that format if you extract the game. That's why I actually uh, use this version and it comes with a lot of um, extra options you normally do not see in XNR Lara. And one of them is the, uh, I don't know if this is special or not, but my version has it, and I will provide it to you. Anyway, we open uh, our model. There we go. Ah, always me pressing the wrong buttons. Now we go and go directly to modify. And export scene as mesh, merge all visible models, just like that. Now it asks you to get a new folder. It normally uh, does it save it up as scenes, but we don't want that. So we go to uh, Xena Lara and save it up in our data folder where the avatars are. 
I'm gonna make a new one and call that Sienna test enter and then click on it to open it and save the generic item mesh up and once the the red and the yellow uh, thing here disappeared you know the mesh is saved now we're gonna close her up and check out if everything is correctly and for that we're just gonna call open her here so that's the one we saved up and it's the same as you can see there's no difference but there is a difference and you're gonna see that once I open that avatar now in 3ds max use our converter and use the same method nothing changed and search for the new Sienna and we open the generic item mesh is there another mesh? no, see? and that's one thing I'm suspecting that messing everything up as you can see there's no XPS file in there there's only a generic item mesh file because I suspect the XPS files are those who are messing up the uh, meshes so if you use the generic item mesh without XPS in the middle you may well not encounter the problem but that works with the Witcher uh, models and it does work with others as well anyway, open that okay, now let's see And there you can see, no broken meshes, even if I select that, we have the whole face selected. And I did not select the uh, um, option where it's only one mesh, so these are different meshes as you can see. You can select them one by one, even the eyes, and it's not broken. It does work perfectly. Now, let's see how that looks in iClone, once I import it. I'm not going to t-pose her because I already have her imported, so I just export her like that. Remember, if you do export her, t-pose her. If you don't know how to use the t-pose, I have a tutorial about that as well. How to t-pose correctly the avatar to import it into iClone. Check that out. i leave a link in the description down here. Check that out if you want. Also, I leave links to my other X and RR tutorials. The ones in English and the ones in Spanish as well. But you can check that out. Alright, let's see. I already saved the old uh, Sienna test up. Now I just override her with the new one. Done. Now, let's go to 3D Exchange and open that up there we go and the smooth curve we actually don't need not at all it doesn't change anything not really I never have seen something different because I use the smooth curve I'm getting tired. It's late in the night. But anyway. Well, there you have it. It's not broken. You still see this here. But this can be fixed. Selecting all and just applying the smooth. And see, it's gone. Now you have an avatar who is not broken. Let's see the meshes. That's the face. 
and this one part you cannot make it unique why because it has no other textures applied and there are no different meshes in the face meaning is when you hide the face the whole face is gone because it's one unique mesh meaning is it's not broken it's fixed so I hope that helps you and I hope I found a solution for you all who uh, like my tutorials and like to import like I do X and Alara uh, avatars so yeah just finish this up edit it and upload it probably tomorrow so uh, see you in my next uh, tutorials or animations when I'm talking to you and good night <laughs>